In this section, we are going to take a look at four basic chart forms bar chart, line graph, scatter plot, and pie chart. When to use which chart form? Bar chart. Use bar charts, also called as horizontal column charts, instead of column charts when the number of categories is greater than 7 but not more than 15 or for displaying a set with negative numbers. Use a line graph when you have a continuous data set. These are best suited for trend-based visualizations of data over a period of time when the number of data points is very high, usually more than 20. A line chart does not always have to include an element of time. Show me in Tableau does indicate that an element of time is required, but it is not really so. One can create line charts that connect related elements that are not based on time. An example of a line chart variation that does this is a slope chart. Scatter chart. Scatter charts are primarily used for correlation and distribution analysis. It is good for showing the relationship between two different variables where one correlates to another or does not correlate. Pie chart. A pie chart typically represents numbers in percentages used to visualize a part to whole relationship. In this video, we are going to take a look at what is a pie chart, when to use a pie chart, how to read a pie chart, pros and cons of a pie chart, how to create a pie chart in Tableau, learning outcome. At the end of this video, you will be able to create pie charts in Tableau. What is a pie chart? A pie chart is also sometimes referred to as a circular chart. It is divided into slices or wedge-like sectors that illustrate numeric proportions. The slices should be mutually exclusive. They should not overlap. The data should sum up to a meaningful whole. When to use a pie chart? Pie chart should be used to show the relationship of a part to the whole, to represent data that can otherwise be placed in a small table, when data is available in few categories, to represent nominal or ordinal data. Nominal data is one which can be separated into discrete categories that do not overlap. This is easy to remember. Nominal sounds like name. An example of nominal data is gender, male and female. Data under ordinal category is one which can be ranked or ordered. This again is easy to remember. Ordinal sounds like order. Example, employees can be asked to rate their satisfaction level at work on a scale of 1 to 5. How to read a pie chart? Consider two features while reading a pie chart. The angle that a slice covers compared to the full circle and the area of a slice. Advantages of pie chart. Simple to read if there are few categories represented on the pie chart. Easy to interpret and comprehend even by an uninformed audience. Does not require a lot of explanation when used in a report or presentation. Disadvantages of pie chart. The main purpose of pie chart is to be able to perform relative comparison. Comparing data slices in a circle is not easy because the reader has to factor in angles and compare non-edges and slices is ill-suited if there is too much data to be represented on the pie chart. If there are many segments of a similar size, it is hard to interpret and is confusing. Pie charts fail to reveal key assumptions, causes, effects or patterns. Let us look at the steps that will help to create a pie chart in Tableau. Step 1. Select the data for your pie chart. Step 2. Apply table calculations to compute percent of total. Step 3. Arrange pie slices in clockwise or counterclockwise direction. Let us look at a demo for creating a pie chart in Tableau. We are working with the sample superstore.xls that is provided by Tableau if you work with licensed Tableau Desktop Edition. However, if you are working with Tableau Public, you can download sample superstore.xls from the Tableau community. Select pie in the marks card. Notice that angle is added as another feature in the marks card. Drag the dimension region from the dimensions area the data pane and place it on color on the marks card. 
We have data for four regions, namely Central, East, South and West. The pie chart therefore gets split into four slices, one for each region. Notice that all the slices are the same size. The reason is at this point in time, we have not added any measure to the size or angle feature on the marks card. Let us have the size of the slices determined by the amount of sales made in each region. Drag the measure sales from the measures area under the data pane and place it on size on the marks card. Notice the change in size of the slices. The size is as per the sales made in each region. Drag the measure profit and place it on angle on the marks card. The angle of the slices is now as per the profit made in each region. Drag the measure sales and place it on label on the marks card. Let us transform the sales figures into percentages. Right click on the measure sales on label to bring up a drop down menu. Select the quick table calculation. Selecting the quick table calculation brings up another set of options. Select percent of total. The displayed labels on the pie chart in the worksheet or view changes to reflect the percentage of total. If you happen to add up the percentages of each slices in the pie, it should add up to 100%. It is a good practice to have the slices arranged in ascending or descending order of sales. Or one can say slices arranged in order as we traverse in the clockwise or counterclockwise direction. In order to do this, right click on region to bring up a drop down menu. Select sort, select the order ascending or descending as desired and select sort by the desired field which in our case is sales. Click on apply and then click on OK. Notice that the slices are now arranged in ascending order of sales. You just learned how to create a pie chart in Tableau.